Hello, and welcome to Differential Discussions. I'm Melissa. And I'm Dave. And today we're going to be looking at an LGL CLL. Pretty neat. Yep. So yeah, I think um, most CLLs that we look at, right, that we've seen are B cell origin. Um, and there's T cell CLLs. Um, but these these are some pretty big limbs. <laughs> yeah. So I'm actually excited about this. Yeah, and so uh, this is a slide that was given to me, and it says LGL CLL. So I don't have any results for it. So yep. this is the first time that Dave and I are looking at it. So it's going to be mm -hmm. an adventure and finding something like this. Yeah, it's fun. Um, but yeah, my first takeaway is like uh, lots of <laughs> lots of limbs. Um, platelet count looks like okay, right? I know. Yeah. Well, we're still on 40, so it's important that everyone knows sure. we're just kind of looking at this point. We're not coming up with anything definitive, especially no. for platelet or red cell morph, but we can still get a good idea of what we're thinking about here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the platelet count looks reasonable. It might be decreased. I don't know yet, but um, in the red cell morph, I'm kind of peaking. Yeah, um, yeah tons oh, of limbs. Lots of limbs. So they're not small, round, and resting, but it is still a monotonous picture you know what the other th interesting thing that i'm noticing looking at this field is is there's not a whole ton of smudge cells true very true so characteristic of typical characteristics of cll is uh, uh an abundance of smudge cells yeah. i see one up in the corner there maybe so right here. um yeah there's one here but i really don't see any other smudge piece yeah and that might be, in, and it could be, this is a strange kind of variant of CLL, right? So um, maybe that's... Well, let me just kind of... Mm. There's, there's some more. There's a few more. Still, still though, it's not... No, it's still prominent. not. Um, Ooh. They're definitely there, just not quite as often as we're used to. I like that giant clump of limps in the bottom right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very suspicious. Um, sure. Let's drop Can down to 100. Oh, let me erase that. Too much? No, no, no. I think this is good. Yeah. So we do have some drying artifact to just point out to the audience. Yeah. You notice uh, they looks like water droplets, yeah. sort of. That's just and when I play with the fine tune, it looks shiny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's that water artifact. Yep. So we can pretty much ignore that. Um, and then the the cells in this field, I do see maturity in the nucleus. Uh, some of them look less mature than others, perhaps. Yep. But um, I certainly wouldn't be concerned for blasts. Um, no. Looking at this, but we see some pretty prominent nucleoli. So, Melissa, one of the things I start to think about is like prolimps, right? When it comes to CLLs, and um, depending on where the disease is, depending on treatment and things like that, you can see CLLs kind of convert and get more aggressive and. Um, the proportion of like pro limbs could increase. Um, what's making this more complicated is the limbs are naturally larger, right? So some of the typical characteristics we look for, we have to be, I think, a little bit more careful and reserved about what we say. Yeah, because typically pro limbs are a little bit larger. At least, you know, the nucleus is larger and the nucleoli is huge. So mm -hmm. it's usually a tad larger than a regular lymph, even if the chromatin pattern isn't drastically softer compared mm -hmm. to a mature limb, but it's harder because these are LGLs. They're naturally larger, they're granular, they're a little bit, I feel like the nuclei are a little bit more stretched out in comparison to our normal round resting limbs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that definitely makes it interesting. But, uh, you know, if I were doing a diff here, this is my first field down on oil, I'd be hitting that lymph key, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, and I think the other thing that is important to point out because they are LGLs. They're not Milo's. Right. 
right? Because they could look like hypogranular myelocytes, especially like this guy here, the way the nucleus is shaped, it could be getting towards that kidney bean shape where you're yep. thinking, is it a myelo, is it a meta? But again, it comes down to the chromatin patterns of these cells. And this is definitely lymphocytic chromatin pattern. Hmm. And then the cytoplasms, <clears throat> it's like a, like a fair light blue sky blue maybe and the granules like they're they're lymph granules they're set they're pretty large um they're sporadic some of they're kind of grouped up a little bit typically myeloid cells the granulation should be more even uh, not saying that it doesn't pool up a lot right but they're usually in significantly higher numbers and and more consistent well i think these granules if you're going to confuse them with myelocytic granules, it could be like the the promyelocytic azurophilic granules. Right. But once you hit the meta, or excuse me, the myelo or, or the meta state of a maturing neutrophil, you're really not going to see these prominent azurophilic sort of like ready purple color granules. That's really more reserved for the promyelocyte or the lymphocyte. And even right. the lymphocyte granules, these are, these are typically smaller than what you see in a promyelocyte. Right. And if it were a promyelocyte with this few amount of granules, right, we would be early transitioning blast to pro. We would expect a much different chromatin pattern. This is way too mature for that. So, so it's like a combination of like what it looks like and then how old we think it is. Right. So <laughs> so the age of the cell and, and presentation, but um, pretty cool. Yes. Yeah, so I think these like are all limbs. Yes, I agree. And there's a EO and a broken EO in the yep. corner too. I just bring them up. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Where does he go? Oh, wrong way. There he is. Oh, I still have him half out of the screen. There you go. <laughs> and it's really common to see EOs smudged, right? They kind of are one of the more delicate. Uh, but we can see their granules clearly. So I think it's a, a fine thing to call. I want to look at this guy. Do it. Look at like oh, wow. this guy here. Or like this one oh. here, where the granules are like huge, chunky. And we've seen some chunker of granules before in limbs, right? But um, that cell you're pointing at is pretty big, probably on the larger side. But the one in the top left there is huge. <laughs> I know. Huge granules. Very cool. Very, very cool. I've never seen this before. So let me pull this guy. Yeah, I mean, Melissa, when we see large granule lymphs, lymphs on a diff, right? What are we talking? Like, there's like a couple percent, right? Yeah. Even, yeah. It's nothing because you, what you see them during cold season and yeah. with allergies. Yep. And then yep. otherwise, you don't really see a lot of LGLs. Right. And now it's every field. We're just like, yeah. whoa. <laughs> but see, this guy is really, really mature. And it's a little bit easier to see in the scope that it, it almost looks like this is a, a prominent nucleoli area here but there's actually a really good one yeah look at this right there yeah, in the corner so then like dave you were mentioning earlier are there problems this one might be the one to hit that counter for it, right but it's but we're we're kind of in the uncharted territory though right so you know I think this kind of plays back to, um, you know, morpho morphologically, I might call this one a prolymph. And then I would give my differential to the pathologist who likely might try to do some kind of flow cytometry. And then flow cytometry might be able to better um, kind of tease out, uh, in, you know, less mature uh, lymphs like prolymphs and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I, I would hope that my numbers would jive with what the populations that flow yeah. flow is seeing, right? Well, the, I think the other thing too is this many LGLs, and that alone would be something that I would want the pathologist to look at. 100%, yeah. So if you're looking at a slide like this and you're like, wow, there's like 95% LGLs, and maybe you call question one or 2% prolims or however many prolims you think there are, the pathologist is going to look at it and they're going to send it for flow. And then flow is definitely going to tell you whether they're all LGLs or whether there are those immature lymphocytic cells. So I think 
recognizing the abnormality, right? LGLs are not abnormal, but in this number, they are. Yeah. It's like every lymph in this field is got granules. Yes. <laughs> it's so strange. It's cool, though. It is. It's cool really for us. Mm -hmm. cool for us to see. <laughs> yeah. And I think you're kind of getting to a big, bigger point, too, is we shouldn't get too complacent with CLLs. Um, we should make sure a patient has some kind of a confirmed medical history. Uh, you really want to <laughs> like put this in front of a path yeah. um, if they've never been looked at before. Yeah. So cool. there's a couple of big ones here, huh? There's a couple of big cells with really big prominent, and they look like prominent nuclei in here, right there, right there. Almost all of them have a fairly prominent nuclei. I think the those two on the bottom, like I'm most yeah. comfortable with. Yeah, these two right here. Mm -hmm. Because I think the other thing is you can notice how like this guy has much deeper chromatin pattern like you can see there's much more of these dark purple spots and less light purple open areas as comparison to these guys even these guys they mm -hmm. have more dark purple spots but these two definitely have way less dark purple spots and it's much more of that light purple open areas mm -hmm. yep the other thing is they have lost contact inhibition yeah yeah so these clusters of cells this this being adjacent is very abnormal is not typical to see. It's usually indicative of some kind of malignancy. In this case, a mature lymphoid neoplasm. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Nothing to see here, just two nuclei. <laughs> Uh, or whether we say these is this is just a fragmented nucleus, like a segmented nucleus, or not, but. I think it looks like it's binucleated. Yep. With L those large granules. Yep. <laughs> Snap this picture. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Adding to our uh, repository, and this will likely be the cover image for this. Okay. Really cool. Yeah. Very mature nuclei. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I might pro pro on those center. Oh my gosh, yeah, especially that one. Like that one's so nice looking with that really prominent nucleoli. Yep. The thing that's weird about it is the amount of cytoplasm yep. for a pro lymph. But given that, you know, this the slide is titled LGL CLL, we know that they have more cytoplasm. So cool. It is. This is a very unique slide. That's probably the most normal lymph we've seen so far. <laughs> Is that like resting the, lymph? Yeah, he's the only like, small, round, resting lymph we've seen. I wonder if he's like one of the ones that's not malignant, but like the one clone <laughs> that's not malignant. He's just that lone B cell, just kind of sitting there like, hi. We got some neutrophils, another yeah. pro lymph candidate, you know, whatever category. Another ultimately, number. there's another guy up here, well, a bunch of guys, but yeah, here, okay, look at all the granules in this one, yeah, uh, this one, so, all this is literally super all lymphs. unusual. Yeah, I think that that's the thing that kind of worries me is that like they're all granular lymphs. Yeah. So, and that's has to be like descendants of the this clone. Yeah. Oof. Still some neutrophils, thankfully. Yeah. Um, I've been peeking at the platelet count and you know, it might be decreased normal-ish somewhere around there. Look at the <laughs> wow. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. We're wowing at these granules. Those granules are insane. So cool. Yeah, I agree. I think the platelets are low normal. They're probably somewhere on the borderline over there. Hey, what's up, Bio? Another EO with another nicely granular mm -hmm. cytoplasm over there for that one. 
patient does look to be uh, perhaps a little anemic, although um, area on the slide, um, I'm sure this white count is high, very yeah. high. You want me to go thicker? I'll go thicker. Sure. Yeah, let's take a peek, see what things look like. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> player count might actually be totally fine, but. Yeah, I still think it's going to be normal, but on the lower side of normal. Yeah, it's a 150, right? <laughs> Let's see. Wow. So not a lot of cytoplasm. I do see some granules in that huge cell there. Yeah, this one here, you can see it right yep. there. Mm -hmm. So cool. Yeah. All lumps. Except for the couple of neutrophils that we have. Occasional neutrophil, yeah. They might have actually have a serviceable ANC. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Snap another picture. Damn. I've taken like seven. <laughs> I feel like this is like the histoplasma slide where I'm just like, snap, 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 snap. I love it. I love it when we do these kind of blind like this. Yeah. It's kind of neat. This is so cool. I, I, uh, I love the striations in that cell in the center-ish too. Do you see the... Um... This one? Yeah. Very strange. Um, it's very, you're right, strange is a good word for it because lymphocytes don't usually have those super prominent white striations like that. Mm -hmm. And to see them lined up so yeah. in an organized way almost, they, they look like claw marks, right? Thank like you. super yeah. cool. Well, yeah, this is definitely, um, we learned something new today. We did, yeah. This is, like, this is the first time I've ever seen an LGL CLL. Yeah, really neat. So is there anything else we want to look for or? No, I think we saw a lot. And I think that's all we have for this video. So thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for your time. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like notifications whenever we post a new video. And feel free to reach out to us on social media or via email with comments or suggestions about future content. Thanks.